I'm James Heaney, and this is Brief News Brief. War. War never changes. Only the theater of war. Over the weekend, war was waged on Twitter, which has become a ritual battlefield. A lot of people laugh and scoff at the Twitter president-elect, which begs the question, is this Twitter war being won by Trump? On SNL this weekend, Alec Baldwin did his impersonation of the Twitter-obsessed president-elect to mixed reviews. Some people found it to be hysterical, while others, such as Trump, thought it was not so great again. Trump responded in a tweet, Just tried watching Saturday Night Live. Unwatchable. Totally biased. Not funny. And Baldwin's impersonation just can't get any worse. Sad. Others thought, that Trump responding to an arguably terrible sketch in the first place puts him in a spot of weakness. Americans took to their social media corners to express their feelings, thus joining the battlefield of war that's waging out there on the Twitter and on the Facebook. I thought the best impersonation during that entire SNL sketch was played by a mashed potato plate. Uh, In fact, when that plate came out on the table, I stood up from my couch and began to applaud. I thought we were seeing a cameo appearance of the president-elect. But no, it was just the best impersonation since 1995 on SNL, played by a plate of mashed potatoes. The Dakota Access Pipeline will be rerouted in a victory for Standing Rock Tribe. It was announced on Sunday the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will no longer allow the Dakota Access Pipeline to cross under a river near the Standing Rock Reservation in North Dakota. This is a huge win for Native Americans and protesters who had long opposed the construction. Instead, the Corps will be undertaking an environmental impact statement to look at possible alternative routes. Assistant Army Secretary for the Civil Works, Jo Ellen Darcy, said she based her decision on a need to explore alternate pipeline routes. Since August, thousands of demonstrators have camped at the Standing Rock site to stand with Native Americans in imposing opposing the 1,172-mile-long pipeline, which is designed to carry 20 million gallons of oil across the Midwest every single day. This is a dramatic shift in the reaction of authorities who had previously ordered that all demonstrators leave the campsite by Monday, today Monday. North Dakota Congressman Kevin Kramer, a Republican who supported the pipeline's construction, said... Today's unfortunate decision sends a very chilling signal to those others who want to build infrastructure in this country. It will be very difficult, if not impossible, to build when criminal behavior is rewarded this way. Others believe this underscores that tribal rights are essential. The main concern, of course, is the possible rupture of a pipe that would instantly destroy the only fresh water source for this tribe, taking out their whole way of life. Now, I don't know what they're so worried about. If you take a look at Flint, the government totally knows how to fix problems like this. Bottled water! It was recently brought up that it's difficult sometimes for our viewers to tell when we're joking or when we're speaking factually. We're working on a way to make this more clear. Um, But it doesn't help when I go and misquote somebody that I was trying to be factual on. On Friday, I misquoted James M. Mattis. Mad Dog Mattis. Run the clip. Shooting people's fun. (laughs) I like brawling. Perhaps I just got carried away with my uncanny impersonation of him. Here's what he actually said. Now, in case you're wondering, I actually... That was a video of him. That wasn't my impersonation. I know it's hard to tell the difference. But in case you were wondering, yeah, he really did say that. I added the dung 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 shots afterwards because of my Meisner training. It just felt the most real in the moment. But as you can see, he was unarmed at the time. It's poll tele time. On Friday, we asked, can texts have artistic merit? The answer turned out to be yes. If Kanye West can be considered artistic, then so can my texts. Secondly, how spot-on was my impersonation of James M. Mattis? 
Well, a lot of you thought it was spot on or the greatest. There are so many that also felt it was mind blowing and Oscar worthy. We don't know which of those things best describes it, but I think all of them work well together. And finally, what are you wearing? Most people turns out boxers. Zero percent of people said briefs. Oopsies, forgot to vote. Let's not let that happen again. This week's polls, first question is, is Trump winning the Twitter war? And secondly, do you stand with Standing Rock? And finally, how does James look in briefs? Is it good? Is that good? Thank <laughs> you.